Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Um, this is going to be what I bought at uh, Goodwill the other day. Nothing crazy exciting, but definitely some good stuff that should sell pretty well. Um, and I'm going to show you one mug slash ceramic cup that you should be looking out for. And an item that sold rather quickly. I was going to do what sold today, but everything was kind of just... And I was trying to get through them pretty quickly. I just I had 10 orders going out today and nothing really super exciting. Just kind of stuff like, you know, just run of the mill bread and butter, I guess you can call it. Stuff that just, you know, moved uh, uh, yesterday afternoon. And I got one order out this morning, so that came in this morning. Either way, let's jump right into the video here. And first thing I want to show you is something that sold very fast. I listed this yesterday and it sold uh, today, this morning. So probably about, I don't know, probably about 12 hours. It took to sell half a day. Uh, Tom Tom GPS Navigator. Get this light, the light's right here. I moved the light to help me with, uh, I, I keep, every time I have the light really high, it kind of casts, a bit of a shadow so I have to adjust the camera so I'm hoping this having this a bit lower facing that direction will be a little bit better for me but um we'll see how it goes see if I like it it's kind of in the way though right now but let me fix that light how do I look on the oh, looks pretty good there but um this TomTom -tom sold rather quickly I picked it up actually yesterday uh right by the post office here there's a Goodwill and so I just popped in really quick because they were doing some remodeling on the inside and I wanted to see if they put anything uh, new out, anything good. Right now it's kind of low because they are moving things around in the store. And I saw this in the glass, $16.59. I don't think I flashed this in the video. I don't think I did this in the video yesterday. But um, I was like, all right, I looked up comps, a couple of comps. Um, a lot of parts though were being sold. This is brand new. A lot of parts are being sold brand new, but I couldn't really find like the brand new whole. I think I saw two. One went for $29.99 and one went for $49.99. Listed this for $50 and I did not put offers on this. I was just like, all right, it's 50 bucks. I have pretty much the, I couldn't find any other. I think I saw only one other that was new, but it was listed higher, um, currently listed. So I was like, all right, I'll put it at 50 bucks and see what happens. And I didn't even get it to put in storage and it sold. So 50 bucks, full asking price. So $16 uh, purchase price, uh, 50 bucks sold. So that would be um, $34 profit, take away some fees. So about 28, 30 bucks on that profit. Not bad, pretty quick. Um, so I'm gonna get that boxed up, but what do we have here today? We have a few things here, a few interesting things. Some things I usually always pick up, and that's IKEA products right here. I have sold, I haven't sold this clock, but I have sold a different style, uh, same, uh, I think a different color of this clock here. I have sold it. That one was brand new. This one, it appears to be pretty brand new. It was $6.09. And the other one I had, um, just see it's working right now. The other one sold for um, uh, 40 bucks, brand new. So I'm hoping this will get at least $30. It's a nice clock, it's got a different, the other one I have was just all white, white and um, silver steel for the arms. And this one has a little bit more of a decorative look to it. Not so industrial looking. But that's an Ikea light. I generally always, if it's a good price, will pick up Ikea lights, um, clocks, I'm sorry, did I say Ikea light for this one? That's a clock. But I'll generally pick up Ikea lights. Um, <clears throat> I did sell, I think I featured it in a video or not. I sold the Ikea uh, flower lights. Those are sold. Those went for 40 bucks. But, um, and then uh, there is some, there is glassware from Ikea that will sell. But I only buy it brand new. I don't buy Ikea used glassware. I'll always look for it to be brand new, and if I do find it, it usually sells pretty quickly. So, people like IKEA, still like IKEA. So, if you find IKEA stuff out there, make sure it's the right price. Uh, check comps, and um, should move pretty quickly. So, IKEA is a good one to look out for. 
Uh, another thing that you know, we, we my wife scanned this in. She looked it up. It's a crown. It's, it's metal. And there were three of these actually, so I have two others. Uh, two of them were not priced. One of them was priced. Now, typically, the Goodwill really won't. It depends on the maybe the time of the day, what Goodwill you go to, if they know you're there. Um, they typically won't sell you anything unless it's been priced. But because one of the exact one was already priced, they just gave us all three for that same price. Um, so we got three of these. Comped these out. Other than made in India, we were able to Google search it, find it, and they go for about $25 each. So four bucks into $25. And this is just, I mean, it's a cool piece, unique piece, the crown, you know, kind of ornate. And you'll make a great decorative home piece. And there were still comps on it, so I was like, okay, throw it in the cart. So got three of them, so that's going to be hopefully about, you know, $75 sale in total. I'm going to get these. I'm actually, this stuff here, I'm going to work on getting listing today. And then tomorrow or tonight, I need to really work on my Legos. I have a bunch of Legos. One of my goals this week is to really clear through everything I have right now um, that's not listed. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm working on it. <laughs> Trying to get my garage cleaned up. But it's going. This one here is a bit of an impulse buy. Uh, it should go. I don't know. I really didn't comp it. It was $2.59. It is an Avon piece, which you don't typically pick up Avon. But this reminded me exactly of a powder. It's a powder dish. It has the puffer inside, and there's still a little bit of powder in there. But um, yeah, I mean, you can still you know you can buy modern powder and put it in there. I'm probably gonna clean it out before I uh, uh, get it listed. But it reminded me of my grandmother, so she had one similar to this uh, in her bathroom. I was like, yeah, I'll get it. I'll. I mean. I'm going to sell it for sure. I mean, I really don't have a use for it, but um, I'm pretty sure someone will like it. It's, it. it's Avon. A lot of people, you know, talk crap about Avon. It, Yeah, it doesn't sell very well. I don't... I've sold Avon in the past, Avon stuff, but I don't actively uh, pick it up unless it's, like, dirt cheap. And But this was $2.50, and I think I'll get at least 15 maybe 20 for it. It's pretty cool very vintage very mid-century modern so which is a nice piece i'm gonna clean it up though before it goes out of here um they got stuffed animal i was really i'm really not a big stuffed animal buyer but this guy has something stuck to his head um, crap probably get that out there we go what was that to i don't even know what that to was to but I'm really not a huge stuffed animal person. However, we comped that out at about uh, last sold. I think it was eighteen dollars. My wife uh, was the one that found it. It's listed, uh, or we purchased it for four dollars and nineteen cents. It is Snoopy, so fairly. Uh, uh, it's got different textures. It, uh, I was feeling it, and I was like, it feels kind of like it's sticky there, but it's not. It's just the. The, the dot on the back is a different texture than the regular fur, which is very soft and nice. It's it's Snoopy, it's Peanuts. You know, Peanuts do... It, it, peanuts do well than other characters. Um, Disney, obviously, is up there. Marvel stuff. But uh, Peanuts do well as too, especially the um, uh, Christmas stuff. All the Christmas items. I've sold many of the uh, uh, Christmas plush, the ones that dance and everything... Those ones do pretty well around Christmas time. So this would be a nice plush. Plush tends to sit for a while. I don't... Uh, I did have a plush character. It was a, called the Bread Monster. And it was a, some, definitely a bolo buy. Definitely something to look out for. We got it for $2.59, uh, $2 if I remember correctly, at the Goodwill. And that one sold... That was sold for quite a bit. Um, I think that sold for $250. Let me pull up a picture really quick of it. I'll show you on my phone. Bread Monster. And it's a plush. 
It's a plush from uh, Team Fortress. The video game Team Fortress 2. Okay, here's one right here. This one sold for $105. That's not my listing. But that's what it looks like. That's what you should be on the lookout for. But it's pretty rare, so if you do see it, grab it. It looks weird. It's from the video game Team Fortress 2. And it's a bolo, for sure. It's a hand puppet. It's a plush hand puppet. So, pretty cool. Uh, this one sold for 105 back on... Excuse the noise. They're uh, chopping up a tree in the backyard. What sold not too long ago? When did this sell? This sold on... Uh, oh, May 1st. So, and I don't think there's any listed. Let me just double check really quick. Yeah, zero listed right now. So you can kind of command your own price on those if you do find them. Uh, mine sold pretty quickly. I accepted. I think I posted it for 400 and I accepted an offer for like 250 on it. Um, which I thought was pretty good. The other thing to look out for too, um, I don't usually buy that many appliances. Uh, I just don't like dealing with the, you know, trying to find a box size and, you know, make sure it gets there safely. Uh, but, I mean, if the profit's good, the profit's good. And I'll, I'll do it every day. But this one here, I'm actually not going to sell as a whole unit. Uh, just because I don't really feel like testing it. <laughs> Although, it's probably, it looks like it's in good working shape. And everything seems to work. It ha has all the pieces. But I'm actually going to part this out. Make it a little bit easier for myself. And a lot of these parts go for $10 to $20. So here's... I, I've even sold the sold comp for the lid. For this lid right here. As you can see, it's got a lot of um, hard water. A lot of hard water staining on in there. Like they just use sink water in this thing. So... Which around my area, it's all well water, so it's very... Uh, it has a lot of buildup. You get a lot of buildup on your stuff, so you really gotta pay attention to that, clean stuff out. Um, and also, if you're um, you know, using stuff like a hot water kettle, like I use a hot water kettle for my coffee in the morning. Uh, I only use filtered water for that, so just so that way it doesn't get, you know, all white, this white buildup, this all white calcium buildup. So... Looks like someone did use a lot of uh, sink water on that, which is not very really good for these types of products. I mean, it won't hurt anything, but obviously, who's going to want to buy that? I'm going to have to do a lot of cleaning on that, which uh, isn't really, it isn't worth it. But the parts are, they're like 10 to, 20, 10 to 20 bucks. I think this goes for 20, this goes for 20, I think this goes for 10. So you're talking about 50 bucks, and I spent $11.49, so... I'll, one of these I'll make all my money back and then the rest will be a little bit of profit on that on top of that This thing just comes right off like so I think I gotta What I gotta do is take this off first and Tape it up. I don't like the fact that they use packaging tape There's this thing right here. It's got like some Debris in it or something. I'll have to clean out really quick But that thing sells and this little thing sells so look out for pieces that you can uh, break up and sell the individuals for. Because sometimes the individual parts are worth more than the whole. So that's, oh, that's the little thing that probably goes underneath. Or maybe this goes... I don't know how that goes. Maybe that goes like that. Oh, I see. Maybe goes under here, maybe. Oh, yeah, it goes like that. So it comes out in two. It's pretty cool. I thought maybe I had myself a, uh, a espresso maker, but it's too too much cleaning involved. So I'd rather just uh, make the profit back and who knows, keep my eye out for another for an espresso maker for myself. But that's why I bought that. I bought that just to sell off the individual pieces, which would be good. Smaller boxes, cheaper shipping, uh, probably first class for all this stuff. It's all pretty light, so. Those are the few items I did pick up uh, from the Goodwill recently. Like I said, it's been kind of slow at the Goodwill. Um, that was tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, so I'll probably head over to the flea market in the morning. Thursdays are usually pretty busy days, so plenty of vendors out. It's good and bad just because there's a lot of people, a lot more buyers, and a lot more vendors. Um, 
uh, some more competition, usually in selling, but where I live, you know, they upcharge everything around here. So you really gotta negotiate. You really have to, um, you really have to, uh, you really have to, uh, what do you call it? Bundle stuff up. So I grabbed a bolo item that you should be on the lookout for. And that is <laughs> this cup mug. And it's a tiki mug. And this tiki mug is from Disneyland. Disney Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar. And you can only get these mugs at the... Uh, I'm not sure in Disney World where you get them at. It might be at the same place, but it's at the uh, Trader Sam's Tiki Bar, which at Disney California, it's in um, the uh, Disneyland Hotel. So you have to go to the Disneyland Hotel. You don't have to stay at the Disneyland Hotel. You can go eat there. Um, but it helps if you stay there because then you can go hang out in the evening there. And it's a really cool little spot right by the pool uh, at the Disneyland Hotel. But they sell these limited edition cups and they are ceramic and they have different different kinds. Um, when we went back in May, I was um, hoping to get, they have a, a piranha one, piranha style one. It's kind of larger than this, and a, a piranha, but they were sold out of those. So they sell out pretty quickly, uh, especially the more popular ones. They even have the larger group drinks that come in in collectible mugs. It's not really a mug, it's more like a bowl. So those are pretty cool too. Um, but we got this one, we got another one that was kind of like a volcano. And so these are very cool, very nicely made. And they resell for quite a bit. If you buy them in the, buying them from Disneyland, obviously they're, I think total for the drink and the mug is about 40 bucks. Uh, resale value on this guy, this one right here, is right around $50 right now. But as they they do phase these out, and then they'll come out with another edition. And usually the older, obviously the older editions usually command a premium because you can't get those anymore. And usually once they sell out, they sell out. They don't uh, restock them or anything. Like I was trying to get the Piranha and I was asking the guy if they'd bring them back. And he wasn't sure. He said they probably won't. So... That was it for the season so i missed out on the piranha but i did get this and a volcano which is still pretty cool mugs these are i'm not reselling these i am putting in the um, in my collection but i've only ever found this at i found only one of these an older one at a goodwill and i've never really seen them out, outside of disneyland i haven't seen these so if you guys see these out there any of these Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar mugs, cups, snag them up. Because the older ones go for quite a bit. There's one I think that was sold at Disney World recently. And it was a like a gargoyle. It was a collaboration with their Haunted Mansion. And that one goes, I think, for $200. It's a good mug to be on the lookout for if you can find it. But be on the lookout. Disneyland mugs. These ones from Trader Sam's. These Tiki Bar ones. They're all pretty unique and really cool mugs. Get them for yourself or get them to resell, whatever you want to do. This is a, this one's a part of our collection. The Also, too, there's collectible uh, cups from... Uh, I don't know if... Dis, Dis, I'm pretty sure Disney World has a... Uh, Olga, Olga's Cantina, which is inside the Star Wars uh, land. And uh, we got the... I finally, this year, we went and I was able to get the um, Rancor Teeth Cups, which come with, uh, the Rancor Teeth Cups are, uh, when you order it, it's a selection of their different beers, and you get the, the ceramic, uh, the whole ceramic set to take home, which I was able to get this year. Finally, I've been trying to get that since the Star Wars Land opened, and every time I would go, they were sold out, which I think they were sold out this time, too. I got, like, we either the second or last one was the only one I saw they had left so pretty cool so pretty cool stuff from Disneyland Disney stuff it's usually pretty good if you buy Disney stuff look them up you know, always look up Disney especially just you know, generic like uh, plush from Disneyland and it, it can be hit or miss 
Like I've sold a um one of the plush, like the baby princesses. Like all of I saw them all and all of them at a garage I think it was a garage sale or at a Goodwill. And they usually don't go for very much, but the one I have in the Haber, I forget which one it was exactly. The it was like an illustrator one. And the one I had actually went for like sixty dollars, so um always look stuff i mean always look stuff up just to see what's selling but something to look out for either way um i hope this stuff uh kind of helped you guys out this stuff should be moving everything's moving pretty quickly in my store so which is good get that money recirculating back in so i can buy more stuff hopefully make more profit um otherwise uh we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching